Hey everyone. We are here at Magic Kingdom this evening, um, bringing you another dining review. Yes, we are getting ready to eat at the Skipper Canteen. Mm -hmm. It'll actually be our first time. Yeah, um, we actually had thought about this several times, and um, we always had sort of backed out. Um, the menu is kind of different. Yeah. And didn't we never knew if our son would like it or not. So, but this time we decided we're all in. We're going to try. And we will give you a dining review. Stay tuned. The food was really good, well presented. I didn't realize that the um, uh, the wait staff would act like the skippers actually do on uh, the Jungle Cruise, mm -hmm. so that was a plus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very nice theming. Yes. Uh, a lot of stuff on the walls, and there was even uh, some uh, light fixtures. Not where we were seated, mm -hmm. but we noticed in the room next to us. Different there was, dining room. Yeah. There was some uh, birds. The light fixtures were actually stained glass birds, so we thought that was really pretty. Um, just nice atmosphere. Oh yeah, I think it's a. I think it's a very uh, good. Um, well added addition to uh, the Magic Kingdom. Okay, for an appetizer, we had the Falls Family Falafel, uh, which was the secret recipe of chickpeas, garlic, onions, lemon juice, herbs served with house-made adame hummus and toasted pumpkin seeds. And I thought this appetizer was absolutely delicious. It was very good. The only bad thing about it was, um, you know, you needed a little bit more of the uh, bread, waffle. yeah, the falafel to serve with it, mm -hmm. because uh, they give you a, a, a large amount of uh, the hummus. Yeah, you but, have uh, a lot of hummus left over. Yeah, so that was a big thumbs up. Of course, we still ate it. <laughs> yeah. And for dinner, I had the Perkins uh, Thai noodles, and it was absolutely delicious. Um, spicy. It was very spicy. Well, for me, it was very spicy. Um, I made my lips burn. But um, very flavorful. I had the Hardy Har Char uh, slew pork, uh, which is basically um, a pork chop uh, that was uh, char, char grilled and uh, it was served with vegetables and jasmine rice. Um, the pork chop is like marinated in like a, um, I would say kind of a teriyaki type barbecue. Yeah, it was a very different yeah, flavor it was very, yeah. barbecue sauce. Yeah. Um, which was delicious. I mean, it was like uh, really in depth with the flavors. Um, and the, the seasonal vegetable was uh, bok choy. And then it was served with jasmine rice. Um, jasmine rice was, well, it was jasmine rice. You know, jasmine rice really doesn't have much of a flavor to it. Yeah. Um, but uh, but it was it was still good. It had kind of like a, like it was seasoned with a, maybe some coconut milk, so it had like a kind of a different flavor. Uh, the pork itself was delicious. Uh, like I said, the uh, the spices and everything that was on it was really in depth. Um, so I really enjoyed it. If you are a fan of leaner meats, though, I would kind of steer clear of this because my mine was pretty fatty. Yeah, um, he, he did have a lot of fat on him. Yeah, but uh, you get a huge portion. I mean, huge. Uh, Kathy had a huge portion too of her uh, Thai noodles. Yeah. So if you're coming here with an appetite, this is definitely the place to come. Oh yeah. Because um, the prices are uh, more expensive than what you're usually used to uh, here at the Magic Kingdom, but they give you uh, the food that they give you here is definitely uh, large portions. Right. 
but uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I did too. I would say if you're looking for something different uh, than your normal um, fare, um, this would be an excellent place. I don't know that we'll come here often, or it'll be if we do come back, it'll be a while. But um, but it was a nice break. Oh yeah, definitely. from your burgers and. Because, like I said, I think it's definitely was definitely needed here in the Magic Kingdom, and they do sell uh, alcoholic beverages here as well. So you, you can order cocktails, wine, beer, um, and they do have some souvenir mugs I noticed too, uh, which are you know pretty cool yeah. if you're into that. All right, guys. So keep watching. We'll have more of these. Be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, catch us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.